What you got the pizza oven doing there, mate? I've been absolutely giving this thing a brutal working lately, but uh, it's all been on pretty basic stuff. I'm talking, you know, mostly pizzas. So, really wanted to run an experiment today. What do you got in mind? When you think pizza oven, you don't really think steak, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some steaks in here today for the first time and see how that goes. Mate, you must be loony to cook a steak in an uni. Your head must be as thick as the steaks we're gonna cook today. We're gonna try one on gas and one on wood. We'll see which one's best. Follow along and check it out. Oh, I didn't see you there. It's just me and my thick meat. It's time for assaulting. I'm talking a loaded jalapeno salt. So let's get our salt bay action on. Put that elbow high. Oh yeah. I could work in a European restaurant with skills like this. These are big boys. All right, folks, we've had our cast iron oiled and preheating in here for about five minutes. Let's check the temp. I-270s, I reckon we're good to go. All right, let's get a reference point. Hopefully how hot this bad boy is. 21C. Now we need under the center. Let's give it a flip. A few days later. Now we're talking. All right, folks, here we have the gas pizza oven steak. Looks like it's got an okay crust, maybe fractionally burned on the outside. So we, we dropped the temperature right down about halfway through after it got a nice sear on the outside. So let's just double check the internals again. She's risen quite a bit, so we might have a well done steak here, but let's let it rest for a few minutes and we'll find out. All right, folks, moment of truth for our gas steak. I'm gonna open this up, see how she looks. Good crust. I would say probably a little bit overdone, to be honest. Not quite well done, but definitely getting close. Not bad for a first go. Because most importantly, how does she taste? Not bad. Maybe fractionally chewy, which you'd expect, because it's a little bit overdone. Bark is nice and crunchy, actually. Really, really tasty. Promising. I think I could do better on this one. Let's see what other people think. All right, here's my taste test on the uh, porterhouse cooked with the LPG and the uni. It's definitely getting up there to well done. Flavor, good. Crust, really good. I found some of the fat on the side of the porterhouse and fully rendered. So overall, not bad. I would definitely want to taste the same steak, but done rare. So I'm just gonna load the uni up with a couple of pieces of wood. What I've learned off the gas, I don't want to go this too hot. So I'm not gonna go too hard on loading the wood up either. All right, so let's start about there. And get some fire lighters in and lit. All right, folks, wood fire time. Let's check the pan temp. Pretty similar. I reckon we're good to get it on. Could you repeat that last part? All right, folks, time for a temp check. All right, folks, wood fire steak here. I'm feeling a little bit more confident on this one. You know, I learned from the first experience, but confidence is nothing without results. So let's cut it in half and check it out. All right, immediate difference. Still not consistently cooked from the outside to the inside. Definitely less overcooked. So excited about that result. Oh yeah, that's heaps better. Yeah, really learnt my lesson from the first cook. 
I'll see what other people think. Well, this is definitely the most steak I've seen go into a pizza oven. Let's see how it tastes now with the wood fight. It's delicious. The fat's more rendered, and I think the, the doneness is definitely more to my liking. Coming down to that medium, maybe pushing on medium rare territory, but the flavors, it's actually noticeably different. Now, I don't know if that's the wood smoke versus the LPG burner, but definitely something going on with this steak to make it taste even more flavorful than the LPG burner. Definitely my pick of the bunch. All right, folks, well, that wraps it up for steak in a pizza oven done two ways. Really interesting experiment today. I think there's a lot of promise here. Definitely gonna do this again, even though I did make some mistakes. I'd encourage you, if you've got a portable pizza oven, give it a go, see what you think. There's definitely a unique flavor profile. Until next time, catch us later.